A while back, we had done a video that said it appeared that Steve Perry might be joining Journey on their World Stadium tour as a surprise guest. But after what we've heard now about an ongoing legal battle over trademark rights, I think it's safe to say that isn't going to happen now. Earlier this year, Neil Sean and Jonathan Kane registered for trademarks on 20 Journey songs, including hits like Any Way You Want It, Open Arms, and Separate Ways, just to name a few. The reason behind the registration was for use on various merchandise. But now Perry is filing to have the trademark registrations cancelled, citing that prior written unanimous consent of all partners in each instance is required. His petition also stated that false or misleading information was used in the process to help secure the trademarks. Now, an interesting thing to note here is that Perry is the only credited songwriter on several of the songs and credited as co-writer on the others. But now Sean is firing back and saying that Perry's claims are total crap. He also said that back in 2020, while trying to sort through the trademark issues, it caused a rift within the band, which led to the departure of bassist Ross Valerie and drummer Steve Smith. Back then, Perry and late longtime Journey manager Herbie Herbert sided with Valerie and Smith in a vote over control of the corporate entity that is Journey, which was set up by Herbert. Sean posted a lengthy message on Facebook to help clear things up, saying, they knew all this time I'd been investigating our trademarks for years. He then went on to say that he's trying to get to the bottom of the corruption, as my wife and I found that nothing had ever been trademarked besides our music. They all went for a takeover, and it didn't work. Quite simple. Sean and his wife state that they have now found a legitimate trademark attorney that is not corrupted by the music business saying, we had been getting ripped off since the beginning until I shut it down. At this point, I decided to go for all album titles as well as song titles, after he had learned that songwriting and copyrights have nothing to do with trademarks. He revealed that corruption had ran through Journey's dealings for years, and he took to Twitter saying, what's crazy is that all the attorneys we've had never protected us knowing there was no trademark on Journey merch. Money under the table for all these years? Major money at retail? It's protected now. So what do you think about all of this? According to Sean, more will be revealed, as they are just starting to peel back the onion. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.